everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a video about Peter Alexander pyjamas. Now in Australia, Peter Alexander pyjamas are known for one, being super cute, but also very expensive, I would say. But I would also say they're quite a well-known name, brand name. I honestly only really started to want their pajamas when they started to bring out French Bulldog designs. I am obsessed with French Bulldogs. I have a French Bulldog cross pug which is literally behind me right now. I wonder if I can show you. Rocky. And the other dog is Bentley. He's an American staffy. <laughs> Um, so when they started to bring out French Bulldog pyjamas, I was like, I need them. And that's when I discovered how expensive they were. So let me show you what I've got and then we'll get into the quality and if they're worth it or not. So when my husband first purchased these, it was for a Christmas present, he purchased these slippers as well. How cute now i've had these for probably like three years and they're in pretty good condition a little bit dirty but like what do you expect but yes yeah, super super cute and they just say peter alexander here but very dirty so the first pair of pajamas that i got were this design so little bulldogs like that they are shorts now in saying that their shorts aren't that super like booty short they do look short but they're not like uncomfortably short where like they're not that short where i feel like if someone came over to my house and i was in my pajamas i would need to get changed like they're not that short so I really, really like them. I love the design, right? And then of course I got the matching top, which just looks like that and says Peter Alexander as well. If you can see that. Oh, it says Puppy Love and Peter Alexander here, sorry. So also for pricing, now I can't remember exactly, but these were around $50, $40 or $50 for their slippers. Their shirts are usually about like $60 and their pants are usually around like $60 or $70. So you're looking at like quite like a lot of money to be honest with pajamas. Let me see if I can find um exact pricing at all obviously they're not gonna sell what i have anymore but let me just in comparison so yeah about 60 dollars for shorts and for tops just t-shirts about 50 dollars okay so 50 dollars for the top and 60 dollars for the bottom so $110, quite expensive. Now the next set that I have is these little Dash Hounds, which again, super cute design. They are in the shorts, so exactly the same length, but I, as I said, I'm not like worried that they're too short or anything. I do really like the length of their shorts. And of course the top, to match so super super cute now with sizing just to let you know in australian sizing i'm like a 12 to sometimes 14 i get an extra large bottom always and a large top i definitely could go smaller but for me personally I like pyjamas to be like loose. I am not wearing tight pyjamas at all. So the next, the next set I have is actually a long pair. These are like 
just the same material as the shorts but in a long length so not a winter pajama but just like yeah long length really light material but so cute so you can definitely tell I'm a bit of a fan of dogs I ummed and art about getting these because these were like I think like $80 or something crazy I can't I can't remember these prices for the pants and then obviously the top's like 50 but really really cute design again these are an extra large and of course we love the little bulldog love 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 and this is what the top looks like so it's like a bulldog which I absolutely love there's no Peter Alexander on that it's just the bulldog now, when I got my first pair, I was so excited because my husband got the matching little bulldog. So, like, how cute when we wear these together, like his and hers. I absolutely love that he did get these as well. He's like not one of these people that care to match, but I just love that. And then for his birthday, like, how appropriate. Obviously, we have a staffy, which I just showed you. Hopefully, I just showed you. They came out with these. They're grey staffies. And we have a grey staffy. So, I had to get these. Um, men's, I think, around the same price. And then these being a bit longer... I think these were around like 60 or 70 dollars now is Peter Alexander worth it to be honest I've had a like both of the short sets for about a year and the longer pants set for about two years I also have a dressing gown um, which is in the other room, which is like a lighter, like waffle material, which is, I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, so getting back to this, are they worth it? I'd actually have to say yes, they really are worth it. They are just so cute, but I'm not saying they're worth it because they're cute, but the quality is actually surprisingly really, really good. They wash really well. They don't like change shape. They don't shrink or change like in any way, which is very important. If they shrunk in the wash, I would like not purchase them again because of like the price point. I completely understand that they are super expensive. <coughs> Now, I would probably recommend, if you can, definitely wait until they go on sale because Peter Alexander does have some actual amazing sales and their things do come down quite cheaply, which is amazing. Or if you're near a factory outlet, they also have the items discounted and then they have sales as well so you can save even more money which who doesn't like to save money like why spend full price when you can save a lot um so yeah definitely worth it they look amazing they don't change in the wash and I really really recommend them and particularly if you have a family like I love at Christmas time how they bring out like I mean, they have them all year round with different um, patterns, but the Christmas pyjamas that you can match your whole family to, that's like my ultimate dream. I absolutely love that so much. But if you have Peter Alexander pyjamas, let me know your thoughts. If you feel like they're worth it as well, if you've had good experiences or bad experiences with the company, I would love to hear from you. And thank you guys so, so much. I will see you very soon. Thanks again. Bye.